Thank you for taking the time to watch. My name is Jeffrey Katz, and I'm a Senior Finance Solution Architect with Western Computer. Welcome to part three of our four-part series on workflow in Dynamics 365. In part three, I'll be reviewing budget entries workflow. In budgeting, there are four out-of-box workflow types. Today, I'll be focusing on budget registry entry workflow. There are also eight out-of-box workflow elements. These elements are what we use when we're designing and creating the workflow. They include approvals, updating budget balances, flow controls of conditional decisions, manual decisions, parallel activities, sub-workflows. We can also set budget account entry workflow and also review tasks. Other features that are included are approximately 145 out-of-box workflows, an easy-to-use graphical user interface, with drag-and-drop capabilities onto the workflow canvas for designing, multiple ways to assign users for approval, email notifications so you know when it's your time to approve, as well as maintaining different versions of the same workflow. I am now going to log into Dynamics 365 and go into the workflow editor. Now that I'm in the workflow editor, you'll see on the left hand side the workflow elements that I was talking about earlier. On the center of your screen is our workflow canvas. Here I pre-built a workflow which will take you through. After budget entries have been created and the user submits into workflow, the first thing that's going to happen is go into an initial view. Here we will assign a user, if I go into my user, to do the initial review. This person is not necessarily an approver, but more so just an approver. After it's reviewed and sent on, it now starts going through the approval process. Here, it'll go to the first approver. We go down one level and we can look at the assignments. Here again of our different ways of setting uh, approvers. I chose user in this instance. I click on user, I set myself as an approver, but I could easily select another user as an optional approver. And then we go into our completion policy. Here with the completion policy, this lets us decide whether all approvers need to approve, a percentage, majority, or a single. In this case, I selected single. After I would approve that workflow, it would then go on to a second approver. Again, if we go down one level into our assignment, we can take a look, go to our user, and here we have a different user that's going to approve. We also have the same completion policies like I showed before. After the second approval, it then goes into another budget review. Again, this is not necessarily an approver, but again, it's just for reviewing. After that final review is completed and submitted, it then will go into the last stage of the approval process, which is updating budget balances. When it hits this element of the workflow, all of the entries that had been submitted in the budget entry workflow will automatically post into Dynamics 365. It will then end our workflow. If for any reason you don't want your entries to post automatically in my example, I can easily just remove that element by deleting that element and then taking my flow arrow after the final review. And at this point, the workflow would be completed and then the entry would have to be posted manually into Dynamics 365. Thank you for watching. Please watch for part four of our series on purchase order workflow. Be sure to subscribe to our YouTube channel to stay up to date on Western Computer video releases surrounding Microsoft Dynamics 365 for finance and operations. Have a great day.